Alright, how's it going, guys? Uh, Car Killer, uh, also known as Shane, um, went to Walmart and Target and got some uh, cool Hot Wheels. I collect a lot of Hot Wheels, so I thought I'd do kind of a uh, showing you guys what I got and uh, some unboxing of some stuff. Uh, so we're going to get started with what I got at Walmart. Now, lately, Walmart has been having a lot of like older stuff. Um, sorry if my camera work is like really bad. Uh, receipt. Nobody needs that. Just throw that over there somewhere. And uh, it's very difficult to. Okay, sorry for the bad camera work. Currently, I had to use both hands to open that. So, I have found four of Brian's escorts at Walmart. Now these are all case J. If it will focus. Come on, camera. Well, you might be able to see it. I'm gonna move it all over the carpet, maybe I'll focus it. Well, it is case J, so you'll have to take my word for it. Um, Fast and the Furious stuff, I really like. Uh, this one's got kind of a crisp corner. Um, and that one down there has got a little bit of a crisp corner right there. Um, but other than that, uh, these two middle ones are mint. Um, so yeah, I do, I'm do. i not going to be opening these up. Um, I already have one opened. Uh, not down here with me. It's upstairs in my other room. But yeah, four of uh, Brian's escorts. Um, so we're just going to put those... Over there, and yes, I do still have all of my Monster Jam stuff set up. Um, so next up into the bag here, just gonna um, actually I'll do these. So when I was at um, Walmart, I actually found two cars out of their packaging, and I. Uh, confronted one of the workers there he was a manager um we looked all over for the boxes couldn't find them uh so he just told me that um i could just have it so there was nothing else that they could do with it uh, at that point so he said that yeah sure go ahead you can have it you found it uh you know you confronted me hey look another receipt nobody needs it um he was like, yeah, you confronted me about it. Uh, you're an honest guy, apparently. Uh, go ahead. You know, knock your socks off. So it's very cool. Um, right now I'm just kind of taking everything out of the bag, so it's a bit easier. Uh, okay, so here's the stuff uh, that I technically got for free. Um, I got one of these Ram 1500s. Pretty cool. Plan on doing a custom monster truck with this one. Um, but yeah, and then this Corvette, very cool, um, I really love the color on that thing, it's just really nice, a lot of pretty good detail work on there, gold rims and everything, very nice looking car. Alright, so, we're gonna move on to this line here. We'll go through this line first, and then we move on to this stuff next. All right. Um, actually, I'm gonna do those. I'll do these next. I'll save the best for last. So we'll go through these five uh, right now. So first up, I didn't find a super, just the regular NSX, but I really like this car. Um, this is Case C, if you can see on the back there. Just wants to focus on everything. There it goes. So, there's that guy. Um, as you can see in the back, it's not a treasure hunt, no real riders. Wish I would have found it. I'm gonna try my hand at one handed opening this. I think I can do it. 
Um, see, I do open like pretty much all of my cars, so there it is. There are very few like those over there that don't open. There's a few I uh, hear that about today that I'm not going to open. Um, but this is a pretty nice car. Not a big fan of these type of wheels, and I know there's several people out there uh, that feel the same way. But uh, anyway, got tail lights. Uh, nothing for headlights. The treasure hunt, I believe, says TH back here. Um, some nice exhaust that is colored. You don't see that very often in Hot Wheels. That one's very nice. So there's the NSX. Next up, we got the 63 Chevy. That thing looks beautiful. New for 2016. Um, since it is, oh, doesn't have, oh, wait. It does have the story up there. Um, if I can get it to focus, you guys can pause it, read it if you want. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And hopefully since I'm recording down here, there's not too much back uh, background noise. And there it is. Oh, that is a beautiful car. I like these realistic looking cars. Super nice. Yeah, that's very nice. All right, our next one here is going to be the Supra. It's a pretty cool one. drift car, JDM. A lot of people are liking this. Still C case. Um, Hot Wheels Speed Graphics Series, as you can see right there. Let's just get to cracking this guy. Alright, so not a huge fan of the yellow glass and the different colored wheels. Uh, looks alright on this car. I'd have preferred two yellow rims or two gray rims. Probably two yellow rims would have looked nice on this one. And some regular glass. But all in all, it doesn't look too bad. Some nice graphics, pretty detailed. Cool sponsors in there. Drift car. So... Yeah. All right. Next one is the Volkswagen Caddy. This one is sick. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of this model, but this one is nice. So let's get right into cracking it. Cracking these one-handed isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Oh, I love that color. Looks so nice on this car. Um, also, still has the skateboard in the back there. And the fold-down roof here. In the clear. Detailed front end. Oh, wow, it's even got... Um, yeah. Nothing on the back. I might go through and uh, detail the Volkswagen back there. As you can see. Maybe not, though. I might do it in silver. But that truck looks sick. 4 GT up next. This one in the golf colors looks amazing. Let's just get right into cracking it open. I want to waste no time getting this one out of package. And Oh, that looks amazing. It's got the orange bottom. Not a huge fan of that, uh, but I understand why they did it to get the orange splitter on the back. Oh, yeah. Now, that is a nice, nice looking car. I really like this one. One of my favorites of today. All right. Moving on to the next uh, stack here. Got the Aston Martin DB5. Part of the Then and Now series. I do not believe the Now part of this series is out yet. Um, but I definitely like the DB5. Probably going to be a DB7 um, that comes out in red as well to match this one for the Then and Now. Nobody needs that. Oh yeah. 
that is such a bright red as well. I love that color red. Headlights, tail lights, everything. This is a really nice one. They got the wire wheels on there. I love this car. This is one of my favorites lately. So happy that they came out with this one. All right, moving on to this guy. One of my favorite, favorite Hot Wheels, the 67 Chevy C10. And this one is beautiful. I have one already. This one, well, there may be a, a custom monster truck of this one. And it would be sick. Nobody needs that. Alright. Oh, baby, I love that. A lot of lines in there that can be kind of hard to see. Nice plain hood. Just simple graphics on the side. No crazy flames and crazy colors all over this. And weird yellow colors. And I still got that one. But this one is by far my favorite C10 to date. I love this one. Even, I thought there was a sun visor. I had to take a closer look up there at the top, but it's not. Really, really nice car, truck. Love this one. One of my favorites that Hot Wheels makes. So, that one's pretty cool. Next up, the 41 Willys. It's a drag car. I believe, yeah, part of the Flame series. And goodbye to that. So this one's got a really nice color to it. Some nice simple flames. They actually look really, really nice on this uh, this vehicle. It's a really nice model. Kind of drag car. The engine, the blower popping out of the hood there. Very nice. Got a roll cage in there as well. Some big wide tires on the back. Love it. Really a nice car. Um, looks a lot better than I thought it was, actually. And I just covered the camera with my fingers. That was smart. Way to go, me. And then we have the 52 Hudson Hornet. This one is not the Super Treasure Hunt. Um, I wish I would have found the Super Treasure Hunt, but... Oh, well. I haven't found any for couple of years now so why start now I wish I'd find some piece of paper all right this one is pretty nice a lot of gold a little kind of gaudy for me but I just really like the model that's why I got it and it's a Hudson Hornet and we don't see these very often and it was a treasure hunt so had more stuff like on the roof and a special color. Real Riders. God, that is shiny. Um, it's an eh model for me. It's pretty cool looking, but kind of eh. So now on to um, the coolest of the cool, I should say. Some of my favorites from today. This one will not be getting opened. It is the Back to the Future Time Machine in Hover Mode. I was really quite curious to see what it looked like. That's what it looks like on the bottom there. Nobody really shows us off. Um, like I said, not going to be opening this one. There are certain cars that I don't open unless I get duplicates. A lot of detail on this one, though. Uh, this one's part of the screen time. And this one is in the C case as well. If it will ever focus. There it goes. It went out of focus, but you guys seen it. Not going to be opening this one, um, just because it's one that I don't want to open. Um, the card's a little bowed. Uh, I can get that back because there's no creases yet. Um, just by kind of, kind of doing that. It's almost straight, so that's another one to go over there for the non-opening. 
Now the next two, I have one to open and one to stay in the package. So I'm just going to, this one's the one, well, I'll look at the package, see which one is better. Um, I'll keep the better one in the package. This one looks better. And I'll open the one. This one had some uh, kind of marks in the package there. Not the greatest, so go ahead and crack this one. This is part of the Urban Outlaw uh, deal. Sorry for the shaky of it. Trying to open it while looking at that sign. And oh, car's gone. <laughs> um, yeah, this one's a cool one. This one's a cool one. Porsche. I think it's a 934. I don't remember. And I threw the package already. Uh, there's the package. Three fifty six A outlaw Porsche. This one's cool. I like this one. This one, a lot of people are going after. It's going to be hard to find. So if you find them, get them while well, you can find them, because uh, especially collectors are going to be going insane over this car right here. Very cool one though. Happy to have that one in my collection. And this one, yep, uh, I'll take a look at the cards. That one's a little bent at the bottom, so I'll keep the good one. And crack this one. This one has seen in EA's Need for Speed, so this is part of uh, the game. Don't really care for the game. I don't even like watching it on YouTube. Um... Yeah, this one's pretty cool though. I did see quite a few of these. This one's also going hot, so if you find them, get them. Um, I just kind of didn't want to spend unneeded spending on them. Um, if I see more, when I have more money, I'll get them. But, oh yeah, that is beautiful. Um, like it says, part of Need for Speed. That one's very nice. Um, once again, I forgot what the name was. It's the Fair Lady Z Nissan. Don't need the package anymore because we got this sick looking car. Oh yeah. This one's definitely going to be a highlight in my collection. So, once again, quick overview. Free cars, right there. They look amazing. Movie cars that I opened. The C10. The Caddy. The 41 Willys. All looking very, very nice. The Hornet, sorry for my arm going in view. The Nissan, or not the Nissan. The NSX, not Treasure Hunt. The DB5, the Chevy, the Toyota Supra, and the Golf GT, all that I opened. And as well, we have these cars here that I did not open. So there you go. That's what I picked up today. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you do like the Hot Wheels, uh, let me know by liking the video, telling me in the comments, something of that nature. Um, I think they're they're pretty cool to do. They're pretty fun. I uh, get to show you guys uh, what I like to collect and other stuff in my real actual life. So, once again, the Hot Wheels, some monster trucks. Uh, that video should already be up. Hopefully. And... Yeah. Um, if I had to pick a favorite out of the day that I got uh, that I didn't currently have before this, I think, uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go with
It's a tie between these two. Let me know what your guys' favorites are out of this haul. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.